It's a question that comes up in our inbox each summer. This year it came from Bill and Wilmer and Linda in Brooklyn Park. Can humans wear tick collars? That might not be for you, but there is an alternative. So what products offer us protection from ticks? It's a good question. Heather Brown got out the spray bottle. Why don't they make tick collars for humans? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it seems to make sense. Right? We put one on our dog. Would you wear that? No, probably yeah. not. Don't you think it would be a little irritating? Not if it were fashionable enough. Yeah. You know, something with studs would be nice. Instead of doing a tick collar, we can just spray stuff on our clothes. Right. Yeah, Mike McLean are. is with the Metropolitan Mosquito Control District. We do have uh, materials that people can spray on their clothing and effectively turn their pants or their jackets or their camping equipment into a flea and tick collar. It's called permethrin. It can come as a spray or as clothes that are treated with it. Permethrin is a type of insecticide that's uh, it's derived from uh, chrysanthemum. How does it work? It's a, it, it actually kills the insects that come into contact with it. So ticks? It, it, ticks. Mosquitoes? Mosquitoes, midges. Will it kill them right there on your leg? Within a few minutes, yeah. Uh, and then it'll just drop off. That's right. It's different from DEET, which is just a repellent. DEET really messes with their sense of smell and their sense of their ability to figure out what you are. But it doesn't kill them. But it doesn't kill them. That's right. It keeps them away. The EPA evaluates permethrin every few years. I'm, again, skeptical in a healthy way. I mean, mm -hmm. let's look into it. It found it's unlikely to pose any significant immediate or long-term hazard to people wearing clothing. The concentrations allowed are low. So I brought a shirt okay. for us to spray. Still, you shouldn't spray it directly on your skin. Oh, so you're giving it a good coating there. It says six to eight inches. So did we just create our own tick killer? Yes, you did. <laughs> Which is what someone terrified of ticks might consider. Well, good luck this weekend. Heather Brown. Uh, yeah. <laughs> WCCO 4 News. One word of caution for people with cats. Cats can't metabolize permethrin like humans and dogs. Two vets told Heather this, don't spray it around cats and take off your treated clothes before cuddling with your cats. But uh, don't be overly worried because the doses available commercially are very low concentrations. If you do have a good question for Heather, please do share it with her. You can email her by going to wccocom links.